So why is glass transparent or see-through? Seems a fairly innocuous question. Really need to take a closer look at glass itself to find the answer. And glass is primarily made of silica dioxide, which can be a white powdery substance. It's also the main constituent of sand. This can be added things like sodium carbonate, lime, aluminium oxide and even iron. However, most of these things are added to either to lower the melting point or change other properties within the glass itself. First glance, these things shouldn't be transparent either, and yet within glass they are. And going back to the main constituent, that of the silica dioxide. In its pure form, as well as being a white powder, it can also form fused quartz or fused silica, which is transparent. The key difference being, in this form, it's a non-crystalline state, so the atoms are bonded slightly differently within the material itself. See how that makes it transparent, we must also consider the nature of light and the nature of solid materials themselves. Now, light is an electromagnetic wave, and different wavelengths of light have different amounts of energy contained within them. Whilst objects we think of being a solid are composed of atoms, which in turn are made up of protons and neutrons in the nucleus, and electrons orbiting outside them. Now, however, the vast amount of an atom is actually empty space. We just scale it up to the size of the solar system, with the electrons orbiting outside, it would be far greater distance outside than Pluto would be from our converted sun made up of protons and neutrons. The orbits of the electrons are also at specific intervals away from the nucleus. Each orbit requires the electron to acquire specific amount of energy to boost it to the next level or levels. When an electromagnetic wave encounters an electron, if it has the right amount of energy, it will boost the orbit of the electron to one of a higher energy status. The, pro the photon is then absorbed by the electron. If the electron then returns to the previous position, it will then emit a photon as it does so. The energy of a photon is such that it doesn't have enough energy to raise the electron to a new level, then it won't be absorbed by the electrons as it passes through the substance. So you have a pure substance, or one in which all the elements present have electrons at levels where specific wavelengths of light won't actually interact with them, then the light will pass through the substance. The item is then either transparent to all light, or just the light of particular wavelengths. Now fused silica, which are basic glass. Wavelengths of 400 to 700 nanometers, which is basically the visible light, allowed to pass through without being re absorbed or reflected. However, if humans are only able to see ultraviolet light and looked at glass made out of pure fused silica, none of the ultraviolet light could actually pass through the glass. It would actually appear to be opaque rather than transparent. So the transparency of any material is reliant much upon our visual range as the substance itself. Also depends upon the bonding of the electrons within the substance, which is why different materials made up of the same elements may have different properties when it comes to transparency. For instance, diamond is transparent and graphite is not, and yet they're both made out of carbon. That's just one example of how transparency can vary depending upon how the material itself is organised. Transparency. Not as clear as you might think. 